Alrighty folks, I am so pumped right now. I'm so so pumped. Hello everybody! Welcome back to Adobe Live. My name is Voodoo Val and I am going to be your host for the Adobe Live Game Show! How are you folks doing today? Is everybody excited? I need this stream for my sanity today. Thank you for coming, Leah. I'm so I'm so glad that you are here. I'm thrilled. Um, I I'm super pumped. So this is a super fun show that I get to do here on Adobe Live, where we spin a super fun, awesome game wheel to grab some random, uh, totally mysterious mystery words, keywords, and then I have to use those keywords and put them into a project. I have to use them to inspire um, some kind of piece of art and I take suggestions from you folks and um, we have we design I make sure to give you folks my um my CC library, which you can find in our Discord, just in case you want to check out all of the files. Um, it is the Photoshop Discord, just in case you folks want to join. You can find it here at bit.ly slash PS Discord, making sure that that P and that S are capitalized if you want to check that stuff out. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. This is going to be fun. It's been a while since we've been able to do this. Much excite, much hype. I feel great hype in the forest. General Kenobi, hello there. It's good to see you. Um, this is where the fun begins. Um, so you guys ready? You guys ready to rock and roll? Game show is fun. I'm glad you think so clever. This is gonna be a blast. I hope you folks can hear the music and stuff. I may need to um, edit that a little bit. You folks let me know um, if the sound levels are good. Make sure I'm not blowing out any of the headphone user earbuds. Photoshop Discord here, yes. Oh, I'm all for today's prompts. Yes, uh, it's gonna be cool. Um, so what we're gonna do, um, as you can see over here um, on this uh, bottom right-hand side, our medium is illustration today. Um, and we have our previous keywords locked in there. The last challenge, the last little prompt that we did, we used cool tones, minimalism, nature, food, um, poster, and event. Those were our words. So we're gonna draw six new keywords and I have to use a minimum of four of them to create a brand new project. Um, MW, welcome in, it's good to see you. So we're gonna spin the wheel um, real quick, but not before we have a word from our sponsors. So you folks know how this goes. I'm gonna hand the show over to Voodoo Vanderdorf and we're gonna talk about uh, today's sponsor, okay? So I will be right back and then we will jump into spinning that wheel. Game show, game show, it's the Adobe Life game show. Hello everyone, my name is Voodoo Vanderdorf and today's show is brought to you by Banana Brush. Have you ever tried to sit down and illustrate a bowl of fruit? Have you tried tirelessly and effortlessly to draw that perfect banana? Well folks, today we've got an epic item sponsored for you by Wade Acuff. The banana brush allows you to draw perfect bananas no matter where you are, no matter what mood you are in, you will always stylize a perfect banana. It only draws bananas, but if you're a banana kind of person, this is the perfect brush for you. And now back to you, Voodoo Val. Thank you so much. Game show, game show, it's the Adobe Live game show. All right, thank you so much, Voodoo Vanderdorf. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, if you folks are banana type folks and you love drawing bananas, um, you can check out the <laughs> the banana brush created for you by Wade Acuff. Um, honestly, very, very seriously, Wade created um, that animation for us, the banana brush animation for our sponsor um, this week. And I was so thrilled to get that. Thank you, Wade. Shout out, Wade. Everybody go check him out. Go follow him. Um, I need to set this as my ringtone, the game show ringtone. <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's super awesome. Another thing you co you guys can do if you join the Discord is you can suggest um, weekly sponsors. There are just funny, creative little things that we like to do. And um, if you are so inclined, um, you can throw in ideas for maybe what an advertisement or something could look like. Um, Wade may be creating some whenever he has the time. Um, so yeah, I would love to collaborate with you folks on really funny, interesting, um, kind of fictional sponsors for these. Um, but now, without further ado, let's spin that wheel, shall we? Are you guys excited? Because I am. I'm pumped and I'm ready to go. Okay, 
So I'm gonna pop over here to our wheel of awesomeness. Ta-da! This is our wheel, and if anyone wants to put in ideas into the Discord for words that I can add to this wheel, I would be super open. I'm hoping that we're not gonna get any duplicates today, um, but if we do, we will just respin because we've got plenty of words on here to choose from. So I am going to pull up my document real quick to make sure that we can get these uh, plugged into my overlay here, and we're gonna go ahead and spin. Please, uh, internet gods, do not give me an ad on this spinning wheel. I will be super sad if you give me an ad. Let's let's go for it. Let's do it. Happy! Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. We're gonna go happy. I'm gonna plug that in. Let's spin it again. Package. Okay. Are we doing package themed stuff? Okay. Package. I like it. Let's go for number three. Package again. No deal, no dice. Storytelling, I may keep storytelling in again because that would be a fun word. We've done storytelling before, but I may I may go ahead and, and do it. Storytelling, I'm just gonna put it in there as a placeholder, see what else we get. We've had blobs. No more duplicates. Seasons, okay, okay. So we have package happy and seasons. We might get like an early Christmas or we could do Christmas themed with the theme of a different holiday. Like what if we did like Halloween? presents <laughs> what if I, I i like i mean october is coming up soon but technically october is coming up soon for voodoo vow at all times it is always on the horizon coming up soon so i don't know how everybody else feels about that but that would be a fun thing to do so i'm gonna put seasons in there we got two more vaporwave Ooh. <laughs> okay Okay, guys, all right. Okay, last one, what is it? No more Blobs. Blobs just wants to be a part of this game so bad and it's not gonna happen. Seasons again, come on, come on. Help me out, help sister out. We've had nature before. I'm gonna add, I need some, I need more words for this wheel, folks. Give us one good, music, okay, music. Music. Okay, so we have happy package. I'm gonna leave storytelling in there unless you folks want me to re-roll. Um, so happy package, storytelling, seasons, vaporwave, and music. Do you wanna re-roll on storytelling? Let me know. I've already started transitioning into fall. I've ordered my first pumpkin spice product. Excellent. Voodoo vaporwave. Click hide option on them repeats. Oh! I, can I actually do hide option? Oh yeah, high choice. I'm okay. All right. You're you're smart. Whose game shows this? It's clever's apparently. Okay, two pairs season and packages. I know it 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 looks it looks really nice to get like I feel like we could we could kind of do it, but you know, I'll I'll give it a few moments. I'll update our list and then you folks let me know if you want to reroll. We will reroll for you if that's what you want. Um, and blobs, three pairs, yeah. Happy musical seasonal packages with a vaporwave twist that tells a story. I have to use a minimum of four of them, so I could like kind of sort out some things, but uh, musical, musical Halloween box. Oh, like a music box? Okay, I'm gonna leave storytelling. I'm gonna leave that in. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay. Let me um, switch back over here and it should, yes, we do have our new our new words in here. I'm gonna bump that over and I'm gonna bump this over just so it looks nice in our overlay. Um, okay, so happy package storytelling, seasons, vaporwave, and music. So I really love vaporwave, but I'm kind of like excited about the idea of doing like an early spooky Halloween kind of thing. But Halloween vaporwave could work, like Jay says. That could be, that could be a thing. We could kind of work with that. Okay, um, let me switch over to Photoshop, shall we? 
Um, another thing that I want to um, let you folks know before we get going is if you decide to start creating things um, alongside me for these shows that we're doing today and tomorrow and you post them in the game show segment of like the game show channel of the discord for every 10 ideas, sketches, or pieces of creative participation I get, I will have to spend, uh, spin the hype wheel, which is a wheel you folks have never seen before, um, because we've never reached enough people participating doing, during the show. But I will have to spin the hype wheel, the fancy special epic wheel, um, and add a surprise, like, curveball um, word into the amount of words that I have to use. In the hype wheel words, I only spin it once and I have to use that. I don't get to choose to use it or not. I have to incorporate that word into the project randomly on the fly. Yes. So if you folks would like to activate hype mode, then grab your stylus, grab your mouse, grab your trackpad and come create with me. Okay. Yes, no one's seen the hype wheel before. No one's done it. So also, if you folks are keeping an eye on the Discord, I am going to be designing. So if you see 10 things come through, um, let me know, uh, just in case I don't see it in time. And they do not have to be finished products, finished total finished projects. They can be sketches, concepts, ideas, and updates on that work in progress. You know, just I want to see some cool creativity kind of come through. You can tell a story with music, Robert. All right, let's jump into it. Let's dive into it. I'm going to pop over here. Um, to our stream. We've got our keywords activated up there at the top and I am ready to go. So I'm going to start sketching um, and I think that I like, we, we kind of had two ideas so far. Let me grab a, a sketchy brush. So we've had a couple of ideas come through and I had the idea of doing like a Halloween um, Christmas kind of thing. So I'm going to kind of sketch out uh, just a little a little present. This is going to be some pretty um, horrific sketching for now. Okay, bear with me, please. I'm just gonna do like something like this and we could put maybe there's a skull and crossbones, you know, on this on this uh, present and we could do like themed presents, you know, like we could we could have presents um, in uh, some kind of, let's see, I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna just kinda, actually, before I duplicate this, I'm going to make a layer underneath and put a solid color back here. We could, we could do something where there's like a bunch of different themed presents and we could all put our brains together to kind of decide what colors each present is going to be. Um, and something like that, that could be really cool. So if I decide I'm gonna do like a, you know, like a little um, group of presents here, we could do something like that. You know, I'm just gonna, this is just a concept. I'm just gonna concept this out real quick. Um, maybe this one is taller and wider and we'll put that back here. And then this one will make like a little baby present um, and put him right there. Uh, and then maybe there's some other kinds of presents too. Like maybe there's a, um, maybe there's a bag that's like sitting here and maybe there's other little, you know, things just kind of scattered around. So we could do some kind of like little pile of presents and then maybe that pile of presents, um, is sitting under like a really spooky looking tree. Like maybe it's a tree that doesn't have um, leaves or anything. Maybe it's like a kind of a decrepit tree. Okay, maybe it's something like this. And then that tree has like, we could do like spooky candy canes and we could do um, like little skulls and we could do um, some bats. We could do little bats hanging down from it. Um, we could do like a full moon back here and put some clouds. So there's just like a little, a little scene. And then we could do like some, some spooky kind of flowers and grass or something. So there's a concept. If everyone likes that, there's a little concept and I will make that small. So we could do this. I think that actually looks pretty cute. Um, and then we had, oh, coffin as a package. 
a coffin as a package that <laughs> I like that I'm just gonna do just to remind me I'm gonna draw a little coffin right here okay so that is like our um it's happy I uh, Halloween makes me happy so that's like seasons um but done in the style and theme Christmas done in the style and theme of a different holiday which would be really fun um my camera is like really brown there we go I don't know why it's so brown um uh then we have like our packages there um we let's see so that's and, and it's like storytelling so storytelling seasons package happy so that's four for that one okay um i'm getting nightmare before christmas vibe i am that's totally what i was thinking in my head um making christmas making christmas making christmas <laughs> that made a full concept in the time it took me to open photoshop and type the words leah i i adore you thank you <laughs> is there a black cat yet there's no black cat oh my god okay i'm gonna put obviously we're doing we would be doing halloween cat okay so i'm just gonna put a little halloween cat right there with the you know the fur like the hackles up kind of so we can kind of think about that um maybe there's a cat just kind of sitting in front i don't know so there's our concept um the other one was the idea of having like a music box which i think is really cool so we could do if you've ever seen a music box my grandmother used to collect um music boxes so we could do something like this where it's like that and then boom um we could have the little hinge kind of open here and then we could put something kind of sp spinning around here i don't know like you know like how the the boxes have something open oh we could animate it we could animate something spinning we could do a spinning animation for for real guys we could totally we could totally do that it depends on how detailed we decide to make it but we could definitely do that maybe there's like pearls hanging out of the box you know and we could do like rings and jewels and stuff kind of out here um and then there we go that is my my little music box so that's package happy i would say that's happy i think it tells a story um and it's music so there's our little our little music box okay so we'll have like a little a little music box kind of something something going on over here um and then what else what else, what else can we come up with maybe we should i feel like we should make one more idea and then maybe we can joke uh joke maybe we can vote on them late due to uni tutorial welcome in gareth it's good to see you um uh, spinning is a good trick <laughs> general kenobi your very subtle star wars jokes make my day just so you know um Maybe instead of a ribbon, use chain links. That could be cool. We could do that. Or we could do like chain link print on the ribbon so we don't lose like the 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 consistency of it being a present. We could like make it look or we, they could just be like small chains. Let's see. Especially deliver special delivery coffin. We could do like um, shipping home for the for the holidays. And it's like a vampire shipping himself home. And we could do, we can do, okay. Okay, we could do something. Like this. We could do something like this and then we could put like stamps and stuff on it like shipping shipping stuff you know like, 
like he's shipping himself home for Christmas or something. I don't know. That could be that could be fun. And we could put like scrapes on the coffin like it was kind of like bumpy in transit, you know, and then we could write like shipping. Shipping has two P's in it, right? Shipping home for the holidays. I don't I don't know if we do would do it exactly like that, but I think that would be <laughs> that would work. <laughs> Y'all are scary. Oh. Halloween chocolates packaged in a coffin box. Oh, like like Valentine's Day, but uh but Halloween. Transylvania Freight! <laughs> um, there's my spastic handwriting. You guys can see how I write. Okay, okay, I like this. This is a good concept. <laughs> this is really good. This is great. Okay, so shipping, shipping home for the holidays with Transylvania Freight. I love, I love these, but we have two days, so we can pick two. We can pick two, because we're gonna use the same, um, we're gonna use the same keywords, but we can do um, two different projects, one today and one tomorrow. Um, send me home to Transylvania. Yes, that's good. I'm just trying to add some ideas. Send me home to Transylvania. Um, and then I liked the idea of doing the coffin with um, the, the, like the, the Valentine's Day coffin. I thought that was really cute. Um, we should try to incorporate Vaporwave in here in some way though. Um, maybe, maybe the, maybe the, um, Valentine's Day coffin, the branding, like we could, we could illustrate it and then make it into like a graphic art promo. And then the graphic art is like vaporwave style. We could do that just to kind of get some more of these key keywords in here. Um, so we could do, you know, something like this. I'm going to try and be fancy with the angles today. So we do something like that. So there's our, our, our box. Okay. Our, our box of stuff. Um, and I'm going to duplicate this and kind of put it like that. I'm going to bump it down. Um, and then maybe it has, let me, maybe it has like tissue paper, you know, so we could have like tissue paper open and, um, tissue paper. I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm just trying to think of like, you know, cause there's always like tissue paper on top or, you know, and you kind of unwrap it. So the tissue paper could be like hanging out the sides. And then in here we could have like all of the chocolates or we could have like a rose and maybe it's like a dead rose or a black rose. You know, we could do something like that where there's just like roses. I like the rose idea. I like, I like having roses and then the graphics could be like, um, you know, sinfully good chocolate for like, what's like, give me, give me some spooky, like romance dad puns. Let, you know, left my soul in Transylvania. <laughs> Um, let me get, let me get some, let me get some spooky dad puns, guys. Hit me with the, with the dad pun magic, please. 
yeah, the black rose J I think would be really, really good. Um, and we could have like chunky vaporwave letters with like a, you know, a shape. And then it has like, boom, like all those things. And then we could have like more words here, kind of, kind of saying something. I don't know. Um, cause the vaporwave aesthetic is very specific with like how it, it has text, you know, um, it's very, it's a very, um, distinctive kind of vibe that I just love. It's one of my favorite things. I'm not going to lie. I've done four episodes of the show. This is our fifth and I've been wanting vaporwave every single time. Um, chocolate to die for. Yes. Okay. You guys, you guys are geniuses. Maybe that's what it says right here. Um, chocolate to die for. I'm just going to put a little note there. And then here we should have like the title, like what are these chocolates called? Chocolate cover eyeballs. We could do that. We could do, we could do eyeballs in here. We could do all sorts of things. We could do little bat shapes, little, little more little coffins. We could do, um, oh, tombstones, tombstones. Okay. So I'm going to do, um, there's gotta be coffin shapes. There's gotta be tombstone shapes. There's gotta be eyeball shapes. There should be a bat or two that looks like a seagull, but it's going to be a bat. Um, there should be maybe a rose, maybe, maybe, a a rose, like the actual bloom of a rose would be good. Um, death by chocolate. <laughs> Beatles. Beatles is a good one. I'll do, I'll do beetles, chocolate covered eyeballs. Okay. All right. I'm going to put a little, okay. Just let me, um, I'm going to make a little note. Chocolate covered eyeballs. Um, I need a name. Death by chocolate is good, but I, I, I want to like something chocolates or whatever. I want to see if we can get some more to choose from, but I am going to put death by chocolate on here. Okay. I'm also like, I've noticed that you guys can only see me like this when I'm drawing. So I'm going to, I'm going to mess with my camera real quick. You guys are gonna get a little bit of behind the scenes Val. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Cause I just, I feel like I should be bigger in this frame so you guys can see me. Okay, cause then if I come down here, at least, I mean my chin, but cause I do have to lean in. Let me tilt my, want to come up. There we go. Now I don't have to be down here. Now I can just be right here. Okay, cool. Um, fun fact, someone actually killed someone by chocolate through the mail. No, <laughs> um, chocolate covered eyeballs can be like how they do the chocolate. Exactly. Chocolate dipped strawberries. Yes. Um, and I feel like we could do them like this, um, because the, the strawberries have like the stem, like the part. So we could do like the eyeball and then have the chocolate on it and then have like the little, you know, the little eyeball thing. And then maybe the eye part is like right here, you know, something like that. So you can see that it's an eyeball. We'll have the chocolate kind of glaze like here. Um, and then we'll have like the little eye stem. <laughs> I think that would be cool. Okay, so let's, I'm gonna make a poll real quick. I'm gonna let you folks vote um, because I like all four of these concepts. We've got two days where we can work on things um, and we might even get to more than two of these, but I don't wanna take up too much time because we have an hour and like 40 some minutes left to, to do this. Um, and I would like to just kind of dive into it and uh, get this going. So I'm going to go make a poll. 
Um, and it's going to say, um, which concepts are your favorite? And I'm going to let you, um, I'm going to let you vote for more than one. So you can vote for more than one because I want to see which two are the top two that everybody likes. So the first one is going to be um, Halloween, Christmas. Um, we're going to do Halloween, Christmas. Um, the next one is going to be... Um, uh, I'm going to call it home for the holidays. That's the one, um, that, that's number two, the shipping Transylvania freight. Um, I'm going to also number these and then I'll number them in my file too. Um, and then we have the, um, death by chocolate At number three, I'm just numbering them how they're ordered, not how I did them. And then we have number four, which is the spooky music box. Okay, um, settings, select multiple answers. Okay, um, Halloween, Christmas, Home for the Holidays, Death by Chocolate, Spooky Music Box. And here you go. There you go, go ahead and vote. Go ahead and vote, 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 and I'm going to number these in the meantime, okay? I'm going to get a big, bold, red color, kind of orangey. I'm going to call this one, two, three, and four. Boom. Um, so that is numbered. Oh, you can make polls. Okay, I'll, I'll let you make them. I am so used to making polls for people here on Adobe Live that I just kind of auto did it. If you would like to make polls from now on if we need them, um, Wade, that would be wonderful if you will do that. Um, I would appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to view. I'm also going to vote. I'm not going to tell you which ones I'm voting for because I want you folks to be able to... Um, make your decision unhindered by my opinion. And it looks like Death by Chocolate is in the running so far. And then the second one that is the most popular is Home for the Holidays. So I'm gonna leave that real quick and I'm gonna start um, kind of separating these concepts into their own spaces. and just kind of prepping them for whichever we decide to choose. I'm gonna put this on its own layer. Layer via cut. Oh, I guess I can't really move these though because um, you need to see the numbers. Um, okay, so we'll just wait for a moment. Voted. Um, let me refresh. Okay, I'm gonna give it just a couple more uh, like maybe one more minute, folks. So go ahead and vote. If you haven't voted, please vote. Vote, vote, vote. I'm gonna refresh. I'll give it 30 seconds. Corey voted awesome. All right, I don't know if that was 30 seconds, but I'm gonna just get into it. All right, so we have Death by Chocolate first and Halloween Christmas. Okay, those are the ones that we're gonna go, we're gonna go with. Um, we may do the other ones too, but these are the ones we're gonna start with. So Halloween Christmas and Death by Chocolate. The other two are gonna go into the um, folder yeeted into the void, to the sketches void. Um, and now we're gonna do this. Okay, um, I might do, I might do the um, Halloween Christmas first, cause that was the first one that we kind of came up with. Um, and we might actually get into the next one um, anyways today. Uh, we, so we might not wait till tomorrow to do it, but this is the first one we're gonna go for right here. Okay, 
Um, so we are going to, first of all, start designing some presents because we're gonna need a lot of presents for this. We'll maybe design like three to five presents. I'm gonna turn this on a lower opacity and then I'm going to hide it and we're gonna get this show moving, okay? So um, I'm going to do this in like actually a, a, what I think is like a relatively um, simple way. Uh, and what I tried to do when I start to illustrate is kind of um, design um, all of the basic shapes of something as um, quickly as possible, like to get the, the silhouette down of what I'm actually doing. And this one is gonna be kind of, I'm gonna kind of do it like a little bit simpler and try to make it really cute. Um, cause we, cause we have to go with the happy, you know? So I'm going to kind of do like these fun present shapes that are, uh, almost a little cartoony, you know, like with the, the stereotypical like present shape. So we're definitely going to have a square one. Like that is, there is no question. I feel like we should have a tall one as well. I'm also going to kind of try and make them a little whimsical. Maybe we can make them kind of lean to the left and right a little bit too. I'm gonna get this in, um, like so, and then I will bring this down. I might actually need to turn this just a little bit. Like so, okay. Maybe I won't make that straight. Okay, there's a silhouette. And I think I'm gonna do this in the style of um, some of the, have you guys seen the project that I have on Behance for Animal Crossing? Uh, because we have, I do wanna do like as many of these as I can, and I don't wanna run out of time. And the Animal Crossing um, fan art style that I have for myself, it actually is like pretty detailed, but it it's like minimal effort to, get it to that level of detail, which is actually really nice. I kind of like sat down one day and thought to myself, like what, what is a cool way that I could illustrate something that looks like really nice and is fun for me to do, um, where I can do like a whole piece that's not gonna take me forever. Cause I wanted to start doing them in the first place as like kind of a therapeutic kind of, kind of deal. Um, and I wanted to like finish the pieces I was doing, but I didn't want to spend like days and days on a piece. Um, so I have, let me, I'm actually just gonna pull it up real quick. Um, let me go to Behance. Um, I have like kind of a sketchy textury um, style for these. Let me, if I can pull it up, ha ha ha. Um, so like, you know, it's like, Painty, and you can see I'm doing, I'm gonna do the same thing here. So it's like big shapes. Like if you actually like look at the shapes of everything here, they're like big circles, big ovals, um, things like that. And then I kind of scribbled in with different shades of colors to really give it like a 3D kind of look. So I think that it would be cool to, to do this. You think so, Wade? I, I, I think so too. I think it would actually look really good. So um, I'm gonna kind of do um, the presents kind of like that. Okay. Let me throw that over here. Um, so we have our first present here. Uh, I might do the bow separate. So we might just like do some box silhouettes. Um, so there's a box. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this and I am going to free transform and I'm going to actually snag this and I'm gonna make a tall box like so. There's a tall box. Um, and I might grab this bottom portion and kind of bump it up like that. So there's a tall box um, and we will break the silhouette just a little bit in order to not make it look like I duplicated one. So the way you can do that to kind of add a little bit of variation with minimal effort is to um, control T, I'm going to flip it horizontal um, and then I'm going to uh, kind of 
start breaking the shape up. And it's like the same shape, but it's gonna be some, you know, a slight difference. So it doesn't look 100% exactly like, oops, like the little one we did. Just kind of make it a little bit different. I kind of like that it goes up on one side. It kind of adds to the whimsical nature of this. And maybe this side will come in a little more. We'll kind of get like a, I'm gonna turn a little bit of smoothing on, um, on this actually. Uh, maybe we won't go that far out with it. Maybe we'll just come in more on this side. Um, Boom, there we go, there's another present. Um, and then I want like a wide one. So let's just do a new wide one. We do like a wide box that's kind of flat. You know, it seems like a good, a good present shape. Could be an Xbox <laughs> or a PS4 or a limited edition Star Wars Monopoly set that I've been asking for since I was 12. It could be any of those things. <laughs> it could be any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wonder if I could get away with just flipping this vertical and horizontal. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yes, we can. Boom. So you see how easy that is when you're when you're starting to plan like kind of an illustration Don't worry about it being perfect. Like these are arguably like they're pretty messy um, But stick with it stick with the process and try to black out those big shapes first because that will really really help you um, When it comes to kind of planning out what what you're doing um, So we have we have three shapes I'm gonna convert these to smart objects too when I'm done with them by the way because I'd like to resize them so I can see all of my boxes um, and I do not want to have um, like when I resize them for them to um, lose their detail. Convert to smart object. Uh, I'm gonna make that one just slightly smaller. I also kind of want to look at them all together to see if I'm actually making them different enough. Because I don't want them to be too similar. Um, and then let's do the same thing with this. Convert to smart object. Tall boy. Let's make him even taller. Make him bigger. Put him over here. Okay, we are making adorable presents. Um, and then I feel like we should have, I mean, we could probably, honestly, we could probably just use these presents and do a bunch of them. Maybe you know because we're gonna be designing a few patterns you guys can also start coming up with some pattern ideas if you'd like that's very specific I don't know what what you mean um, I don't know what you mean <laughs> um, okay so I am gonna make a little bag a little bag present um, this may or may not be loosely based off of the gifts from um, Animal Crossing New Horizons, you know, just like the little bag that has the bow around it where it's cinched. I think that would be kind of a cute present. So we've got these silhouettes. Um, I might want to make this even taller. There we go. Um, and I will put bows on them but the bows are gonna come later because what I don't wanna do is get distracted by also illustrating an element that bisects my design while I'm trying to design the design, okay? Um, I'm, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Um, I might put an actual line here so that the, um, the bow can wrap around, has a place where it's gonna go. Boom. 
Um, and I'm not gonna worry about cleaning it up and making it prettier than that because this is good for now. Um, okay, so let's start with the standard present, shall we? Let's start with our little um, square present. I'm gonna convert this to a smart object. I'm gonna call this bag. I'm gonna call this flat. I'm gonna call this square. And I'm gonna call this tall. Um, and I also, I'm gonna come in here to my libraries um real quick and i'm going to search all libraries for can i do game show let's see i might just have to come in here and find adobe live game show okay adobe live game show um let's go let's make a new thing here and i'm gonna call this um week three ep one um, I actually want that in caps. Week three, ep one, um, boom. And I am going to, this is shared in the Discord, so I'm gonna drag all of these in there. So if you would like, ooh, that gives you all of them at once like that. I don't wanna do that. Delete, I'm gonna drag them in one at a time. So if you guys want the presents, you can have them. Why didn't that, hmm. Did I put them somewhere else by accident? Nope. Okay, I just need to drag them in differently. Okay, flat and tall. Let me put bag and square here, please. There we go. All right, um, I'm gonna drag these up and put them in the proper place and then you guys will have them. So if you would like to design some of your own presents uh, while you watch the show today and tomorrow or any other time, um, feel free because they are all in um, week three right now for you. There you go. Um, all right, let's hide these and let's work on our square present. I'm gonna make this big again and we're gonna jump in here with some clipping masks uh, and we're gonna select some colors, okay? Let's make a clipping mask, I made a new layer. Convert to clipping mask, create clipping mask. Um, and I am going to grab some colors. So obviously we're making a purple present, okay? Hashtag name your layers is a thing. It is sometimes for me. Um, it is, I cannot stress enough how important it is to be very um, organized with your layers because you will not regret it, but I do struggle doing it sometimes. Um, let me see. It's a Halloween Christmas miracle. <laughs> <laughs> Naming layers, what? Okay, um, obviously we have to do a purple, um, a, pr a purple present. Uh, so like purple and orange, I'm gonna grab um, kind of a nice warm purple here. I'm gonna grab like a dark color and I'm gonna grab my brush. Um, let me turn it off of caps lock. I'm gonna grab my brush and I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna come in here and start sketching sketching away and I'm going to try to keep in mind here that I am doing this in like a 3D space. So I'm going to just put in this right here. Boom, kind of make it like that. So there's our side. Um, I'm gonna make another layer. And another thing that's really helpful uh, if you use clipping masks a lot, something that I like to do is I like to create a clipping mask that's just an empty layer and then start working with clipping masks underneath that layer because now because there's a clipping mask clipped to this under like on top of the layer that I'm about to make when I make that new layer it automatically makes it a clipping mask so I don't have to make a new layer go and manually set it as a clipping mask if I want I can just do that and it creates a clipping mask for me um let's grab um a lighter purple here let me make sure I'm on my brush Boom. So we have our light color here. Ta-da! It's already starting to look like a 3D box, folks. Blocking in your shapes, blocking in your silhouettes, and kind of throwing down the basic things that your item um, or your prop or whatever it is you're designing has is such a helpful and useful um, way to go about this because it just it gets everything in there you don't have to go through the stress of like sketching and I'm a sketcher you know we did sketching 
we concepted out stuff and my sketches are not beautiful or elegant um, but you know get that sketch get that idea down there um, and then once you have the idea I think that you will find that when you actually go to approach an illustration or a piece of graphic design or whatever it is you're doing once you sketch something out or concept something out you could even instead of sketching use like shape tools or pen tool or whatever um, you can really start to visualize what you're doing and then when you go in to kind of start the final thing, you have that good idea in your mind of where you're going with it and it's easier to put it down on paper. Uh, FedEx mood, I feel like crimson and black should be a thing. Okay, yes, deep purple, yeah, amber, green. Okay, okay, um, I'm going to real quick, we're gonna put some color combos here. Um, so we want, uh, let me turn the smoothing off while I'm, sketching or while I'm writing badly. Um, we want purple, amber, green. We want crimson uh, and black. Maybe, maybe like a dark sapphire with that. I don't know how to spell sapphire, which is weird because it's my birthstone. Maybe, let's see, can I spell sapphire? Is that how you spell sapphire? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that's how you spell sapphire. No, nope, that's how you spell sapphire. <laughs> that's how you spell it. Okay, um, crimson, black, dark sapphire. Um, we also have, <laughs> We also had, um, is it two peas? I thought it might be two peas, but I just Googled Sapphire and it comes up like that. Maybe, maybe that's like English versus the Queen's English kind of thing. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it like that because it's not going to say Sapphire anywhere in here except in my notes. Um, just found Val here. I used to watch her years ago on Twitch. Matthew, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoy the stream. It's much different than Twitch. We are much better behaved over here on Behance. <laughs> but welcome in. Um, what was your username, if you don't mind me asking? Because I would love to to see if I can remember who, who, who you are. I don't know if it was Matthew. I knew a few Matthews on Twitch, but I don't know if that was who you were. Um, our birthstone, yes. Yes, Odari. Um, what else should we have? Uh, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a second P in there because now I'm self-conscious. We're going to put a second P in there. Okay. Sapphire, crimson, black, purple, amber, green. Um, we could do green and black would be cool. Green and black would be nice. Green, black, and yellow, like a like a like a really sour kind of yellow. Um, Siamese cat, yes, yes. Hello, I do remember. Any, I do remember you. Oh, is it Siamese? Is it Siamese or Siamese? Oh my goodness. Yes, I absolutely remember you. Thank you so much for joining. It is wonderful to have you. You did green and black, me too. Um, okay, I'm gonna call this notes and that's just gonna be up there. Let's get back into painting because I wanna get these, um, I wanna get these presents done. Uh, Cause we got an hour, well, just under an hour left. Um, okay. I'm going to convert this to a smart object after actually I'm going to duplicate this square just in case I want to come back to square. I'm going to convert this to a smart object. Um, so I have like my, my whole present here. Okay. Um, and now with another clipping mask, I'll make this a clipping mask and then I'll make myself another clipping mask layer to use. Um, let's grab this color and let's start making this a present, shall we? Boom. 
It is, it is a 3D box now. It is like a 3D cartoon box for sure. I'm gonna kind of pull this down. Boom, and now we're gonna paint it. Let's paint it. Do we put, what kind of patterns? Do we put patterns on this? Are we patterning it? I think it needs patterns. I'm gonna use the vinyl, oops, oops, I did not mean to change that. Um, I'm gonna use the vinyl scraper brush, which is from the Keith Haring um, brush pack that is available through Adobe. Um, and I think I have it right here. I've kind of moved it into my favorite. Um, the vinyl scraper looks like this. It is, it gives me a lot of that really good, nice texture um, here. And I think I can actually give you a link to where you can download it. Um, Keith. Uh, unless, actually, unless you want to find it for me, Wade, um, it's just, it should just be like literally on Adobe. Um, it is the Keith Haring. I think Kyle T. Webster may have created it, um, but it is a wonderful brush pack. It is super awesome. And I'm just going to start sketching around over here and kind of bringing this to life. I also want to kind of come around uh, the edges here of the break in the side of this box because I want to like really give it this painterly vibe. Kind of give it that texture that I think looks super nice. Let's kind of go for this. Boom. Um, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty dope. Um, let's see, Baby Yoda pattern. <laughs> um, pumpkin orange, definitely. We'll, we'll have some orange in there. Um, we'll have Baby Yoda green in there. What am I coming to SAC? I haven't been there um, since I mentioned it to you, but the like the moment I know when I'm gonna be heading up there, I will let you. Um, I, I haven't had a reason to go up there um, for a trip because it is like, since I'm living um, just, not just outside, I'm living like a, a fair drive away um, from Sacramento now. It takes me a while. Um, but yeah, I will totally go and I will let you know because I'd love to do like a meetup or something. That would be so much fun. I'm also, if anybody um, is in the Sacramento area, um, if it's not canceled, I will be tabling at Sac Anime um, at the Sacramento Convention Center. I have an artist alley table um, that's going to have a lot of really cool exclusive merch and stuff like that. So if you folks are interested in doing a thing like that, um, and you would like to meet me, uh, anybody who follows me on social media or follows me here on, on Behance gets a free gift. Um, and I love to, I'd love to meet you guys. Um, so there's kind of like a little meet sort of thing going on, uh, in September. Um, or stars, stars could be cute cause we could still do like Christmassy things, you know, even though it's not Christmas because we're kind of doing a parody of Christmas here, like Christmas parody. Um, I want to kind of block this in. Um, I also, what I like to do with this is kind of get another color that I can add into it. So it's not just like, cause it looks good, but I think it is also just a, a tiny bit boring. So if I can show you what I mean here, um, if I bring you back to this, uh, as you can see, let me see if I find a good one where I did it well. Um, cause I didn't do this in all of them, but let me see. Yeah. Like, for this, um, I have like the green color that's kind of in there with the standard like um, dark, medium, and light of that same blue color I use just to add a little variation. Um, with uh, Daisy May, I, is it Sally May or Daisy May? Um, I put like some red in there that you can see like little red strokes kind of going through that orange even though it's specifically like an orange um, part. Um, and then here I put like this grayish blue color in 
um, in order just to break it up. So it's still obviously red, but it kind of has something else in there that just makes it a little more interesting, I think, and kind of adds a little bit. I think I put yellow, yeah, I put yellow in um, my Frankenstein Isabel, um, just because I thought that would be a little more interesting. So um, let's choose, maybe we choose like, um, we could do like green. Um, let's try, let's try a green. And then I put my, you can put your brush on clear. Okay, so this is a really cool, helpful thing. So um, if you put your brush on clear, it, you're still using the brush, but it turns your brush into like an eraser because you're basically clearing um, away with the same texture as your brush um, here. And I just add a little bit of green into my uh, my piece here and then I, I'm gonna have to change it back to normal but I I wish if you guys can figure out a way I asked Paul Tranny this one time and he really wasn't sure um, which means that it's possible that this is not something that's available in Photoshop at all but if anyone knows of a way to set a hotkey to clear that would be incredible because I would love to be able to hit a hotkey and switch my brush into clear in order to kind of um, work easier while I'm doing this. So I've added some green, we'll make another layer and then I will come in um, with my brush and kind of paint it in, you know, like start making it really belong just to make it a little more interesting. And I think that it does. I think it adds a little bit more something something there um, that's just cool. I got my serious face on. I realize I look, I look at myself while I'm painting, like while I'm really focusing on something. And I'm like, gosh, anybody that comes into this stream for the first time who's never met me, doesn't know anything about Adobe Live is gonna be like, you know, I was excited to watch this stream today, but this girl looks mean. She looks so mean. <laughs> Cause I'm like, <sighs> like I'm interrogating Photoshop. Why does she look so angry? This is not pleasant at all. Didn't know about clear mode. Yeah, clear mode is actually really, really useful. It's very cool. Um, and I just, yeah, I just kind of like pinked in. And this is something that I do in fresco all the time. And it's funny how like I can do it because it's not a lot of, of work as opposed to some of the other more seriously in-depth paintings that I do. Um, but it is like, it's enough you know I think that's what it is is like it is enough work to do to get my point across here um, and it's very therapeutic to do things in this style um, I really love painting like this because um, it's just a lot of fun Okay, we've got our box. Now I feel like we should add maybe a, I'm gonna turn this on a slightly lower, opa yeah, there we go. We'll just kind of turn it down a little bit. Um, now I wanna add like a pattern. Um, so do we put, we could put stripes on it. Um, we could, let me grab like a textury brush. We could put stripes on this. I think one thing I am gonna do is I am going to, with a non vinyl scraper brush, is I am gonna put these lines in here and make them very specific. Cause I don't want these to be as, um, as painterly. I want, the, I want it to be very sp specific here that these are the lines of the box. There we go, just to define it a little bit more. Okay. 
Um, I don't know how to properly draw or paint, but I feel inspired to try this. Oh, please do, Yuma. Please do. Um, literally, what I've done is I've taken a shape, and I have the shapes available. If you join the Discord, you will have access to all of these present shapes. Take a shape, put a, create a clipping mask over top of it, and grab a, a brush. It's the vinyl scraper brush um, that Adobe offers, so it's a free brush you can download, and you just scribble. Just start scribbling um, and kind of try to imagine where the light is hitting it, you know? So I've kind of got, this is on a, you know, the light is kind of coming over from here. I've got some shadow and stuff and just start making things, see where it goes, you know? Yeah, it could be as simple as you want it to be. Wade is right. Okay, gift box is, look, is quite real looking. Thank you, Felix. Um, all right, so we have our box and now I'm gonna experiment real quick with some um, this is a purple, so we got purple and green, and we wanted to add like an amber color to it. So let's grab like a dark orange here, and I'm gonna do something like this. Maybe not quite like that. Let's maybe do it more like. So we got our little lines in here. I'm liking them. Um, and then I am actually going to remove that. I'm gonna break that clipping mask. I'll put it up here, release clipping mask. I'm gonna clean this up. Um, and I'm gonna put a clipping mask on these lines specifically so that we can add some texture into the lines as well. This present is actually taking me a little longer than I expected. Um, so what I may do is work on um, kind of creating a few more off stream and we still have a good chunk of time. We still have like an hour. So we may yet get through a bunch of these uh, if I just kind of pick up the pace a little bit. Um, but I do want to, I've, so far all of the projects for these, um, these challenges, I finished all of them and post them on social media and show them off on, um, on stream. So, uh, if you, if I do end the stream today without finishing this one, we'll start the new one tomorrow. Um, but tomorrow I will show you where this ended up. Um, and you will have all of the assets and things in the library that you can kind of dissect and check out. Okay, so we've got this. Now let's make a clipping mask on this one. Oop, not smart object. And let's grab kind of a, maybe a yellower kind of amber color. Let's grab our vinyl scraper. and kind of get some color in there. Um, I might grab a little more of this. Kind of put that there. Let's grab like a darker color that is maybe a little more red. I wonder what that, yeah, there we go. Kind of scribble some red in there just to make it really ambery. Maybe under here, get that going. And then I'm gonna grab a color that is like pretty yellow for this top, just to kind of make it pop against those colors a little more. Boom, boom, we've got it. 
we got it folks so now I have a little present and I think he's cute I think it's a very cute present um, and I am going to select all of this command G to group it um, actually I'm just gonna turn this into a smart object because I can convert to layers later I could right click this and say um, convert to layers and it will give me a group and I'll have everything back in there so for now we'll convert that to a smart object and call this um, square present um, and I am gonna I'm gonna delete that because I realized I, I saved all of my present shapes into my library so I don't have to have a backup right there um, is this part ooh that was cancel Hold on. I want to remove that where is that there we go let's get that out of there now we'll convert it Boom, I'm gonna delete that one. Um, and we have a square present. We have a little square present and it's purple, green, and amber. Uh, we could even come in with a hue and saturation and kind of edit this if we wanna make it, ooh, oh, I kinda like that. What if we darken it a little bit and then bring the saturation up? Ooh, that kinda pops a little bit more. What do you guys think? We could try it again, see if we can give it like, that makes it like purple and green and blue in a different way, which is kind of cool. This is always fun to kind of experiment with. I think I'm gonna leave it the way it was because I think that's cool. That gives it a little more amber color, a little more purple color. Um, in which Discord channel can I find Voodoo Val, Val starter files? This is going to be in the Photoshop Discord, uh, which is bit.ly slash PS Discord. Um, you can jump over into the, here, I'll show you real quick. I'm gonna pull up my Discord. Um, you can jump over into the Photoshop and there should be one called um, Game Show. Let me find it. Yeah. If I come over here, there's a challenge or a channel called Game Show. Where did it go? Game Show. Um, and you should be able to look in the pinned messages. And right here it says, hello everyone pinning this CC library. You can um, go to this link and add that CC library to your CC libraries. And as I update it, you will see all of the stuff for all of the episodes start to appear as we stream. Um, oh, Brave and Mysterious. Okay, Kajrov. That is cool. I will make sure to add those. You folks can all come in and add any ideas um, for uh, for keywords that we choose on other days. And you can also go ahead and add um, uh, ideas for fictional sponsors because we do a sponsor um, for each week. So yeah, that is where you will find that. So we have our square present. Um, let's do our bag present. We're gonna do the bag. Let's do the bag. Um, I hope you guys, I can hear somebody that sounds like they're doing construction in my house. I hope you guys can't hear that. Um, okay. Let's get in here. Create clipping mask, make a new layer. Um, what is this gonna be? We could do crimson, black, and dark sapphire for this one. What do you guys think? I think we should go ahead and do crimson. Should it be black with red stripes? Um, or I'm assuming stripes, we could even do like polka dots or something. Black mainly with red accents or red mainly with black accents. What do you guys think? I feel like we should do, we could try it red. We could try it. We can always change it if we don't like it, but uh, I'm gonna grab I want like a sinister kind of red. Let's 
think red with black accents. Okay, cool. Because I was thinking if we did red with black accents, then we wouldn't have two black presents because we are going to do green, black, and yellow. And I'd love to do like a black, um, a black gift with like green spots or something like that. Green squiggles or, you know, that would be really cool. Now I'm going to jump on that clear. Oh, I'm still on clear. See, that's kind of why I need the hotkey for this because it is a little bit difficult to remember for me. Okay, um, there's that. We might need a, an even, like kind of a middle red, possibly. Yeah, there we go. So there's like a middle red. Uh, and then, I think I'm gonna put the dark sapphire in the black, okay? I think that's where the dark sapphire is going to come in. It's going to come in in the in the darker portions. Let's grab some actual bright red here. Because that's like really crimson, you know, um, I also think it would be a good idea to kind of come in and do some lines here to make this really look like there's like a bat like like it's a bag, like there's something in this bag. Just to suggest it and I can kind of clean it up and make it look a little more um, to that point later. But I do wanna at least put some kind of hint or suggestion that that is the case here. And then maybe I'll grab an even darker red and really start chipping away at this kind of shaping it. We're like sculpting, if you can think of it like as if you're sculpting with clay, it really helps. Um, okay, and now let's do some, uh, some shapes. Now what I can also do to really help myself stay in the lines with this is I can hold control um, and I can click the shape of my bag here, and then I can put a mask on this layer up here, um, the shape of the bag. So then when I come in here with a brush, if we're gonna do like um, uh, black, then I can come in here and it will, so that actually looks cool. Um, I can come in here and add like, do we wanna do like big strokes like this? I kinda do. I kind of do. I kind of want the big stripes like that. That looks nifty. Okay. I think Wade finding the hotkey was Voodoo's present. She seemed super hyped to find one earlier. Yay. Wait, the that present came out so nice and crispy. Thank you. Um, was there a hotkey for for clear? Is that what it is that what you're talking about, or is that different? <laughs> Let me see. Okay, this is not bad. I might kind of mess with how I've illustrated it just a little bit, but that's pretty cool. Um, and then we can come in and make a clipping mask on our lines here clipping mask and let's grab some sapphire. Let's grab some sapphire. I like like a deep blue sapphire. Let's see. Oof. Oof. Big oof. Yes. 
Yes. Okay, so we're gonna throw some of that in there. I kind of feel like this present should be maybe a little darker to be perfectly honest because it's a little bright we could maybe make it look a little more sinister um we're gonna throw some of some of that in there um and then i'm gonna get my clear kind of pipe it down just a little bit um, and then let's grab like a really, really dark red and kind of, or maybe just a really, really dark blue. Just have something else to throw in there. Let me make sure I'm on clear again or normal again, just to, yeah, just to kind of brighten these stripes up where the light is hitting them more. Oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I like that. This is the way. It's kind of a toggle, but close. How does that, how does it work? Maybe a black ribbon around the top of the bag. Absolutely. We're going to add ribbon separately so that I could, like I said earlier, but I wanted to do even there should, there is definitely going to be ribbons on these. What I, what I'm wanting, however, is to not distract myself with the, um, that task of creating the ribbons. Cause what I do sometimes when I'm illustrating and I have like a, um, uh, Ooh, let me, Oh, the tilde key will turn your current brush to clear. Oh! Did you guys just change my life? What? Tilde key. I was in the middle of saying something. I will return to it. Give me a moment. It doesn't work in mine. Maybe I need an update. Yeah, it doesn't work in mine. I'll, I'll, I'll see why it's probably, I, I may need an update. Um, I might, I thought I did, but it could just be something with my computer itself. Um, that needs some kind of something, something. Um, I will work on that because if that is something that I can actually do, I will. Um, anyways, thank you very much folks. Um, as I was saying though, um, sometimes when I illustrate and I have an item to, to paint or draw, um, and that item has some kind of design that is like bisecting the main portion of the illustration, like the ribbon or bow on a present. Um, it's really easy for me to get distracted trying to draw them both at the same time when I could draw the box and then draw um, the, the present or the, the bow uh, over top of it. Since technically in real life, that's how it would go, right? You'd have your box, you'd wrap your present, and then you put the bow on it. Um, and so it just helps me to keep track of that sort of thing in my brain and not get confused or discouraged with my project. So I am going to come in later and add um, stuff to this, but not right this moment. We will add bows later. Okay. Gee, I'm going to call this bag again. What time is it? Do we have, oh, we have maybe, um, maybe 30 minutes. Uh, so we might just get into doing the presents. Maybe we won't do like the whole big scene. Maybe that was a little bit ambitious, but we can do presents, um, and do like a kind of a scene with the presents. And then maybe I can put a tree in it. Um, use the tilde key or the force. <laughs> I might have, right this moment, I might have better uh, luck with the force. All right, there's... You know what else I'm going to do for you guys is I am also going to drop the finished ones in here if you guys want the finished ones. If you would like to incorporate them into your own project, you feel free. Um, so there you go. Okay. So we have... The bag... 
the square. Um, I might hide these even though I can't. So I like to look at them while I'm while I'm working on the other ones because it keeps me motivated. Does anybody else feel like that? Like when you're doing a series of something and you're creating little things like this where it may be icons or whatever. Um, I kind of, I hate hiding them. I like to look at them while I'm working on them because it makes me happy to see like the set and everything I've accomplished. Is that weird? I hope that's not weird. I don't think it's weird. Um, okay. Let's move on to tall, shall we? Um, let's do tall, green, black, and yellow. Um, let's do that. Great clipping mask. All right. Um, also, I'm going to look in the Discord and see if anyone has posted a sketch. You can even use my own... What did I just do? Oh. Um, you can even use um, the silhouettes of things that I put in there, the, the, the presents, and just paint some presents. You know, just show me what you're working on. Definitely presents the black slant issue, um, keeping stuff on there. Yeah, yeah. Blank slant. Um, you must do what you feel is right. Of course, that sapphire almost gives the red bag a glow. Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of does. It just like pops. It's the same with this like amber, like that bright yellow amber color on those stripes there where it's just like boom. Um, okay, let's, we're gonna do black. And I'm gonna start out with charcoal. We're gonna do some charcoal uh, coloring here. Let's get it going. get this in here. I'm using my textury brush, which I did not do last time. Also save your work. <laughs> if you're working on something, save your work. Um, I think this lip over here is a little much, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this lip larger because I like the big the big lip over there. to give you guys a headache I promise I'm sorry okay getting ourselves kind of a tall rickety looking uh, present here that's pretty cool got it going there we go um, uh, let's start, let's make it a little darker in some places. Let's grab our vinyl scraper and add some more of this kind of black. And then I'm going to come in with the, um, the green and yellow. That's uh, going to be fun. Let's do polka dots. What do you guys think about polka dots? I got my angry face on again. I was like, oh, this box. This box is so serious. It's imperative that I paint this box. So, I'm so angry looking. So fitting Val asked us to save right when I commented. Did you really? <laughs> Working on something, but I'll send it tomorrow. Okay, okay, cool. 
um, submitting today. So the way that I do like the whole hype wheel, like if you folks want to actually try for um, unveiling the hype wheel for the first time, I'm counting and, and like I consider it all submissions that we can add together for 10 for both days in the week. So if we get a couple today and then we get up to 10 counting those tomorrow, that counts as, as 10. It doesn't have to be just 10 in one day. So if you folks come back tomorrow uh, because you're not confident or you don't feel comfortable sharing uh, what you're working on right now just yet, uh, work on it for a day and then come post it tomorrow. Feel free. Okay. We have got, I guess it's not like totally black. It's more like a, like a charcoal color, but I really want, you know, for this to show the, the fact that it's a box. I don't think it should be much darker than this, to be honest, especially in keeping with the kind of, um, the kind of vibe we're going for with the style here. I think that this works, you know? I think that does it. What are we doing on time? Oh, we got time. We could do our last present for sure. And then we'll start putting everything into a scene. I think we might, we, if, if I, if I'm quick, we might get everything done in today's stream. Yes. Yes. Kind of put a little bit of a dividing line here. Boom. Okay, we got our box. Looks pretty cool. Uh, let's. Let's add polka dots. I'm going to select the shape of our box here. I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna hit my mask button. So I'm masked with that shape and I don't go out of the lines. Um, and now let's grab like a sour, creepy green. Okay, we're gonna do like sour green polka dots. I may need a little bit of smoothing on this. <laughs> Turn my smoothing. Get one on the corner there. And I, I chose to kind of do this one on the corner because I think it adds even more accent to like the 3D of the box. If I could put one of the polka dots and then shade it after a while, like it it's kind of on that corner, you know? Okay, there's one, we could do one here, kind of coming out from underneath this in an attractive way. And then we'll do what we did with the, with the box and do a clipping mask and kind of color these in and make them look fancy. What are you guys working on right now? I would love to know, like, if you guys have ideas, are you working on, like, if you're, if you're doing a project along with me today, are you working on the same kind of project? Or are you working on a project themed with your own ideas? Or how does that look? Um, I'm going to move this actually over here because I don't like that they're lined up. Maybe we'll add some small polka dots too. Like I'll do some big ones and then we can come in separately and add small polka dots. Mm. 
Working on laundry. I love it. Taking care of you. Good stuff. Um, still the Skeksy. Yes. I want to see the Skeksy when you're done with it. I would make my day. I don't know if I like that one there. I'm gonna remove that one. What time are we at? 35, okay, we're, we're doing good. We're doing fine. Let's put one right here. I am going to put one in the center here. I was debating on it, but I think I will. But we're going to shade it real good so it will it won't look flat there. Okay, now let's maybe add... Um, ooh, wait a second. What if they're not... What if they're not... <gasps> what if they're not polka dots? What if they're swirls? I'm trying, this is kind of hard to do. A squiggle like that, but. Let's make them different sizes, some of them, because I think that if I kind of changed up the size. It would look a little bit better. These ones are kind of different sizes already. Maybe this one's bigger. A little baby down there okay what do you guys think I'll paint like voodoo Val one day I believe in you 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 will do that you'll probably honestly because there are so many cool things happening here on Adobe live that I did not have um, at the beginning of my creative career I have every bit of confidence that you will surpass me and become better than me one day if you keep at it I believe in you and I would love to see it. I would love to see that happen. Does it work better if you change the blend mode? Um, you could do a blend mode, a different blend mode on here, um, because I, I'm, I just know that I'm gonna fill it in with texture, um, but you could put it on a blending mode if you want. Like if I wanted to do 
oops, that is not what I wanted to do. If I wanted to change the blend mode on this, you could technically, but the thing, like, cause that looks pretty good right there. But the thing is, if it's on a blend mode that I can't come in and do what I did here with these accents, which is um, make a clipping mask and start putting things in there and have it come out the way that I want it. Um, so I don't use a blend mode for it. Okay, let's grab our vinyl scraper. Let's grab some dark green. Let's come put this into some 3D space with some nice shading. Maybe even darker over here. I love it. That looks good. Maybe not that dark. Get some dark here on that lip there, um, just to really hit that home. Okay, now let's make another one and let's grab, we can grab this color still if we want to. We're gonna put some yellow in this. We are, we are. Um, let's grab some yellow now. Let's do some serious yellow, okay? I am not playing around, like not playing around yellow. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit playing around yellow. Just add some yellow accents in there and then we'll come in with clear and kind of clean it out because I don't want it this crazy. Um, but I do want a hint of yellow in there. Just to spice it up, we'll see yellow peeking through there and then let's add a lighter green. Some serious green. Um, oh, it's still on clear. Oof, that looks good. That's so green. But I want it to pop, y'all. I want it to be like sour green. I want it to be Halloween green, okay? No messing around green. Let's grab that clear, tone it down just slightly in some places. Uh, I might leave that. Let me grab our original green because um, I think that it's a little too busy in this here dot. I don't want it to be too busy. You know, it's pretty busy. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty busy. Um, but I think that looks cool. Um, and then maybe what we can do also is come in on top without a clipping mask and really kind of come in here and blend some of this. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna color this whole side here just to really hit home that there is a, let me get my Bloco brush, Bloco or whatever it's called. Um, I wanna really hit home that this is the side, the edge of a box. You know what I mean? Like I want, to really separate these places. Um, and so I might hit that with a blending mode. Turn the fill down. I don't know if that does it the way I want it. Soft light might do it. Um, and then I'm gonna come back to my brush. Oops. Um, and that vinyl scraper on clear. And I'm gonna come in and just take some away up 
to the point of that hard line I put there. Just to kind of fade it in. Boom! Do you think I should keep the swirls? I think it's kind of cool, but I'm not sure. Um, awesome work as always. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so we got, we'll kind of deliberate on those swirls. Might be a little much, but we'll figure it out. Um, let's call this tall. And we got about 10 minutes left. Um, we can maybe try to do the final one in 10 minutes. Convert to smart object. I'm going to throw this in here into the library for you guys so you have so you have it um <laughs> we're starting to legitimately make like a a nice little present pile here Look, we can, you know, when we put them together in like a piece all together, we'll definitely do some um, atmospheric shading and stuff to really make it look like they're sitting right there next to each other. But for now, this is looking pretty cool. Uh, we got one more, we got our flat one, and I don't know if we can do this in, a, in 10 minutes, but I have faith in us. Let's try it. Um, what color should the flat one be? Orange? We should do an orange. We should probably do an orange one, right? Because we have orange here, but we don't have an actual orange present. So I think we should definitely do an orange present. Orange and black, maybe. Or orange and purple. Well, we have orange and purple, so we'll do orange and then some of the other colors. We won't mix orange and purple again. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really boost through this and see what we got, what we can do. do it I think we can I think we can um, was it a present prompt so all of our uh, to, uh, keywords I just forgot that English word um, all of our keywords are up top it says happy package storytelling seasons vaporwave music so we drew those obviously at the beginning of our show that's what we do every time is we draw mystery words from the magical wheel of design uh, I have to use at least four of them so this one is a concept that we came up with based on happy package storytelling and seasons so we are doing like Christmas but Halloween theme so it's like a seasonal holiday that is happy that is themed based on a different seasonal holiday which I think is cool so we are having a having a pretty good time with it that's a little Kind of a rundown too just in case there is anyone else in the chat who is not here while we kind of intro the show uh, we are coming up on five minutes here i got about five minutes until i have to take off and we may not finish this 100 percent um what I'm gonna do is we've done like a majority of the work on 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 stream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put a little bit of effort into this off camera um, after the show today, um, and I'm going to show up tomorrow with like kind of showing you what I did. We'll kind of go through the layers and stuff, and I'll just put it in a little scene, all of our little presents here. Um, 
and then we're gonna start another one. So we did a bunch of different uh, concepts just for anyone who wasn't here today. So tomorrow we're doing um, a vampire who is shipping himself home. No, are we doing the shipping himself home for the holidays or are we doing, no, I think we're doing the chocolates, right? Death by chocolate. So we had we had either a spooky music box because we have music up there. We had um, the Halloween Christmas, which we're doing today. Uh, we have Home for the Holidays, which is a coffin shaped box. And it's basically a vampire who is shipping himself home for the holidays. Um, but the one that we're gonna do is a um, kind of another play on one holiday that is themed like another. So it's like a spooky kind of Halloween-y um, take on Valentine's Day. And it is going to be um, a coffin shaped chocolate box with a bunch of crazy stuff in there. Um, it's gonna be really fun. <laughs> Where did you get this box? I made it, I made it. You Would you like to have it? You can have it if you go into the Discord. Um, and you, let me see, this is the Discord right here, uh, bit.ly slash PS Discord. Make sure that P and S are capitalized and it will take you um, into the Discord, which is right here. And so every time I do this show, I always give you guys all of the files that I create during each episode. So if you come in here to the pinned messages in the game show, let me pop myself over here in the, ooh, 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 I'll just do this. Um, over here on the game show side, right like that. You can click game show, you come in here, click this pinned messages up at the top and you will have the CC library for the show. It is now in episode one for week three, um, if you would like to try it. And they're in here like this. So I've got four different shapes here and I've also got the finished versions, um, if you would like the finished versions. Honestly, if you would like the version of it like this, where it just looks like a, like a box box like that, you are more than welcome to it. I will put that in there for you right now, in fact. Let's convert that to a smart box or smart box, a smart object. I'm going to call this plain box. And there you go. It's yours for free. You may have it. Okay. I'm not going to try and power through this last box in three minutes. That is all I, I, um, can do, I think. But so I'm going to tidy up that last box. I'll throw it in the CC library. We'll come tomorrow. I'll show you the little scene I put it in and then we'll start working on death by chocolate, which I'm pumped for. That's going to be so grand. It's going to be so, so cool. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Thank you so much guys for coming to check out the show. Uh, I had a blast. If you folks would like to follow me, um, on social media, cause I also post all of the final, um, projects and things on social media. Um, you can find me on Twitter, Twitter or Instagram. Uh, on Twitter, I'm voodoo underscore Val. And on Twitter, I'm voodoo period Val. You can also check me out on the Behance um, and something that's kind of nifty um, here on Behance. Um, I don't know if you folks have seen, but there are some folks on Behance who have the subscription method going on um, over on Behance. Uh, there's not very many of us. There's kind of a... Uh, like a beta going on for subscriptions. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a chance to kind of test this out. So um, I'm gonna pop over here in my last few minutes and I'm gonna show you this. Um, <laughs> I, so <laughs> obviously you guys know I like the Star Wars. Um, and uh, so all of my Behance stuff showing off the Behance subscriptions are, it's like Star Wars propaganda posters. <laughs> so if you'd like to join the Voodoo Empire, there is tons of super cool things um, that you can get and things that you can do for 10 bucks a month. And the first reward that you get for being a subscriber is you get the template of this $10 bill to put yourself or a friend into the $10 bill if you would like to, to do that. So you get the template and you get a whole bunch of other super cool things. If you wanna check me out on Behance and check out the subscription feature um, that is super new. So, uh, <laughs> it's like, you guys like that? I, I, I'm, I'm liking it, so. I mean, I mean, are you guys really surprised though that it's like Star Wars? Hold on, I'm, <laughs> I've got like two minutes. I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to get cut off, but um, yeah, it's like, join the Voodoo Empire. I want you 
to, yeah, okay, you get it, you get it. Um, I'm pumped about it. Thank you so much for joining me today, folks. I do have to go before I get cut off, but this was a blast. I will be back tomorrow at the same time, same bat time, same bat place, uh, 12 p.m. noon Pacific Standard Time uh, for a couple of hours, and we'll uh, kind of get the party started again. Uh, had a blast. Much love, everyone. Happy designing. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you next time. Thank you.